The majority of eligible Americans have gotten at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, but that is not the case for pregnant women. The CDC says less than 25% of expectant moms have gotten their shots. Doctors tell our Liz Crawford the vaccine hesitancy among these moms-to-be is actually pretty dangerous. In the final days of 2020, Dr. Vanessa Hux made a judgment call. At 24 weeks pregnant, she decided to get vaccinated. The choice really came down to myself being a, a frontline healthcare worker. At the time, pregnant women were not included in those first vaccine trials, and the CDC hadn't officially recommended it for expectant moms. Dr. Hux believes that could be why women are still hesitant today. Pregnant women are also vulnerable targets for fear-based false information. The fact that there's so much misinformation that's easily available, um, you know, to a population that's really starving for information. Brittany Campana made a different choice, opting not to get the vaccine. She got COVID at 33 weeks pregnant. She says doctors believe COVID caused a blood clot that put her baby at risk. I was so afraid that I was I was going to die, that I was going to leave my three kids at home and possibly this baby. According to the CDC, 74% of eligible Americans have had at least one dose of the COVID vaccine, but only 25% of pregnant women have done the same. When broken into demographics, black pregnant women have the lowest vaccine rate at just 13%. You have lungs that just don't function as well um, as somebody who's not pregnant. Which is why doctors and moms who had close calls are hoping others make the right call. I was mad at COVID. I was mad at myself for not getting the vaccine because it probably could have prevented this and I could have had a full term baby. Now, the CDC officially updated their guidance last month, recommending the vaccine for women who are pregnant or are breastfeeding. Experts say they'll also pass those antibodies on to their babies.